talk about practical stuff that people can do. I mean, um, you know, in 2015 at the Tennis Summit, there was a panel that was led by Kurt Camperman of the USTA. And on the panel was uh, John Embry, uh, the executive director of the USPTA, Dan Santorum, uh, the CEO of PTR, and Paul Lovers. So the discussion was on the epidemic of cheating and sport and gamesmanship in tennis. And um, so it was a very heated discussion. And I raised my hand and put, put my two cents in, uh, which gained some interesting feedback. And then I actually had the chance to talk personally to three of those four people. I, I talked for 10 minutes each with Kurt, Dan, and John. Well, um, since that time, I wrote a book called uh, 21 Ways to Eat an Elephant, How to Solve the Problem of, ju of Cheating in Junior Tennis. There are 21 practical ideas in that book, and I can get into a couple of those here. The interesting thing is, since that time, the efforts that have been put forward by those three organizations, I would say, one, kudos to the PTR for part publishing an article that I wrote from the book and actively promoting the book. It's also included in the back of the book, Top 5 Strategies and Tactics for Winning Tennis. Um, the USTA also then made Bill Mountford available to me, and he and I had a 45-minute discussion on this, and he provided the key quote to the book. But since that time, I haven't really seen anything else. Probably the number one piece of advice I would give to people is fight one battle per year. When you see one really awful thing happen that's hot, over the top, head and shoulders above anything else you've ever seen, follow up on that thing. Like let's say you see a kid throw a racket harder than you've ever seen anybody throw a racket before. Go to the tournament director and say, hey, I just saw this kid throw this racket and I really think you need to do something about it. Why did nobody see that? Then from there, if you don't get the action that you're looking for there, then go to that person's direct supervisor and talk with them about this tournament, this thing happened, and I wonder why nothing happened. And then if you get no satisfaction there, then go to the controlling body of that person that did nothing and go all the way up until you get satisfaction. And if you do that once a year and act very professionally the entire time, then... I think you'll see things happen. One of the frustrations I know of on the USTA level is they don't get enough written complaints. So if you write a very concise email saying, these are the facts of the case. I, I was here, the player was there, the player did that. I went to the tournament director, the tournament director did nothing. I then called this person, that person did nothing. Then you, you, then you start a paper trail. And the USTA does want that. They do sincerely want that feedback. When people just call and complain, you can't, there's no, there's no paper trail on that. You, they can't follow up. Another a very important thing is to make a really big deal out of good sportsmanship. So when you see a match that you, you really like that sportsmanship a lot, praise both players. Make a big deal out of it, you know, because the people surrounding will hear that and they will wish for that kind of praise. So those are two really solid things. If you happen to be a, like a USTA official listening to this and say you you have it in your in your control to make some phone calls, try this. Get your ranking list out and call the number one player, the number 11 player, the number 21 player, 31, 41, and make 30 phone calls, one a day for a month, and say, hi, I'm your, I'm your USTA liaison. We just want to know, how's your experience, and wh do you think that tennis is being played fairly these days, and what can we do to help? That 
alone could really change the culture because then what you have is a very strong message that we're engaged, we care, we'll listen. And then the next month, then you call number two, number 12, number 22. And, and within a year's time, the, cult, the entire culture could change. And I have never once heard a peep about that being a good idea that someone might do. This was a great topic, Bill. I hope every one of you listening got some productive knowledge, information, and wisdom out of it that where you can go and practically apply this, maybe reflect on the things that were said, and uh, go check out Bill's book, 21 Ways to Eat an Elephant. Great title, by the way. How to End Cheating in Junior Tennis. So check out that. That book's on Amazon right now for 99 cents through the end of the year. Send us an email at usatenniscoach at gmail.com. We'd love to hear from you. Mm -hmm.